In today's video, we're going to discuss my total system for achieving outperformance with yield max dividends, options, REITs, and margin. All these factors help us earn over 300000 per year in dividends and live the FIRE lifestyle, which means financially independent retire early. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. We're also beating all the indexes with this approach. We're up 18.6% and the S&P is up 10. The Nasdaq's up 12 and none of the other indexes really matter. We're also down down 2600 today or 0.27%, but if you look above, the S&P was down 0.6%, the Nasdaq was down 1%, and the Dow was down almost a percent. So we're beating all the indexes on a daily basis and on a year-to-date basis with yield max cornerstone defiance options and margin and most people think that when you use margin that it's extremely risky and that when you have a down market like we had today about one percent down that we'd be getting killed this two hundred thousand that we have in margin you would think that i'm getting hurt really badly but we outperform the indexes once again and also when you have funds like cornerstone defiance and yield max people think that they erode and go sideways to down and don't make you any money but Clearly, we're outperforming all the indexes with this approach, and I'm going to share with you how I do that right now. So if you're a newcomer to this channel, for every $1 you put in your account, you get $4 of purchasing power. I'm just using a fraction of this purchasing power to get ahead. This $200,000 that I have on in margin, my dividends of over $300,000 per year will pay this back in less than one year. Also, this debt does not show up on a credit check to the bank, so it's good debt, and I'm earning higher interest than the margin interest that I'm charged. The margin interest that I have is around six percent many of my clients who bought my e-guides were able to negotiate their rates down as well because when you buy my e-guides you get free access to this for chatter for life and my phone number so i can help you negotiate those margin rates down if you're interested also these dividends that we earn act as qualifying income to banks for loans so they don't show up on credit checks and they act as qualifying income for more loans so this is how we level up our account faster is with margin and these dividends help us qualify for more loans the margin gives us more dividends and then the dividends pay back the margin so it's really a great system, this total system for FIRE, which is, again, financially independent, retire early, using dividends with margin and options. It's really a total approach here. And again, I'm going to share with you how I use all these variables to outperform the market. The first reason why we outperform the market today is because Cornerstone was up, of course. Once again, Cornerstone, our largest holding. Cornerstone is a four-star fund, as you can see on Morningstar, and it moves upward left to right on its chart. And if you go to its chart on E-Trade, you'll see that it goes sideways to down over the last 10 years. But if you factor back in dividends, drips, and rights offerings, then you get the true chart like you see on Morningstar. So here's the Morningstar chart. Once again, Cornerstone moves upward left to right on this chart, and it also beats the S&P if you see my past videos. But here on its E-Trade chart, you'll see that it goes sideways to down. Okay, where is that chart? It's right here. So look at this 10-year chart. It goes sideways to down. But look at a three-year chart. You can see that it moves in these channels, okay? Cornerstone, if you play this fund properly and time it between its rights offerings, you can make a lot of money potentially because it gives you a 21% dividend and it gives you these 20 to 30% premiums that they average per year. So you can get upwards of 50% gains in Cornerstone if you time it between its rights offerings. And if you need more help playing Cornerstone, that's in my volume four e-guide. Don't forget Cornerstone also has a special drip where it takes the dividend, the 21% dividend, and it drips it down here at the bottom for free money every month. When you buy my e-guides, you get free access to Discord for Live, and this is where we alert you of the Cornerstone rights offering announcement. We have over a 1,000 members now in the Discord chat pursuing the FIRE lifestyle, so we're all on top of this rights offering together because it's the single biggest factor to leveling up our account. We get the huge gains from Cornerstone. We get the daily performance, as you can see today. We outperform the market, and when you time it between that rights offering properly, you can pocket all those premiums and really level up your account, and you rinse and repeat this process every time the rights offering announcement occurs. Also, real estate was up today. As you can see here, VNQ, I added some more VNQ today. I alerted all my members in the Discord chat room. You can also follow my portfolio here on YouTube by clicking the join button on my wall. You have to go all the way over to the membership section here, and this is where you can see all of my different services, and you can follow my fire portfolio for under $10 a month. I made it cheap enough so that all the masses could follow me. But anyway, I alerted my members of the VNQ buy today. It's in Discord under Todd's fire portfolio channel in Discord. So VNQ looks extremely attractive. It was up today. Microsoft was down big and that's why the indexes were down big. But if you look at the Dow Jones, for example, Microsoft is 7% of the Dow. If you go to E-Trade, once again, you'll see that the Dow was down almost a percent and the NASDAQ was down almost a percent and the S&P was down only 0.6. So 
One reason why tech was down big today was because Microsoft was down big today. So if it's not the entire market that's falling and it's just Microsoft, well, you need to have total diversification to achieve this outperformance. So even though Microsoft and some tech was down, we had Cornerstone and real estate up, for example. And this is how our total approach is beating the market. Microsoft is also 30% maintenance, MSFO. Many yield max funds are 50% maintenance. So I still have 10K in Microsoft. And even though it's a stock, I like to put most of my money in the indexes, as you Know, but Microsoft is such a large part of the indexes as you can see here on the Zacks website QQQ Microsoft is 8% and in the Dow again it's 7% Microsoft is in the Dow so I like to have money in Microsoft as a result it has a huge dividend and the maintenance is only 30% again whereas the rest of yield max stocks are 50% if you need help understanding maintenance that's in my volume 3 e-guide Apple is also up today and I have about 10k of Apple so that helped us outperform as well Apple's a large part of the index so you have to have Apple and Warren Buffett has a large amount of Apple too. So however the indexes go, the S&P goes and Warren Buffett goes, so do I. I live and die with the indexes and Warren Buffett. Small caps were also up today and Schwab D was up today. We just did a video on Schwab D yesterday because it tagged the 200 day moving average and that was up today. So defensives and staples were up today. Small caps were up. I saw consumer cyclicals were up. Many of our consumer cyclical plays were up huge today. Real estate was up. So it takes a total approach. Also, I sell options and Bitcoin was up for us today. Three $150 we received in Bitcoin today. Well, we sold puts on Bitcoin for $3,200 each for each contract. So we've made about $6,500 just for selling puts on Bitcoin. I've lowered my cost position significantly because if you do $50 minus 32, well, you get a much lower price than the market price. And we're also up today in the day's gains column. So this is how we outperform the market. We also sell options to get this outperformance and lower our margin. When we take these premiums of over $6,500, let's say in Bitcoin and $4,300 in IEP, that lowers our margin by 10K and lowers my margin interest as a result. If you need help selling options, that's in my volume six e-guide. And lastly, financials were up today. JPMO was up for us. So it takes a total approach. Once again, you have to look at all the sectors in the market. Just because tech is down doesn't mean that the rest of the market is down. Microsoft was down, but look at all these other sectors that were up. Look at all these other asset classes that were up for us. So if you need more help doing what I'm doing, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. When you buy my e-guides, you get free access to this Discord chat room for life and my phone number. So just keep this in mind. And if you want to follow my portfolio, just click the join button here on my wall at YouTube, or I'll link that in the description below. And if you like the video, click like or subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Soon. Thanks.